What is going on guys, Joel here, back with another top 10 jailbreak tweaks. Now this is going to be of the previous month, back in February, a little late on this one, but uh want to bring you guys some more top jailbreak tweaks that I found interesting of February. Now this one's called Jellylock 7. You can find this for free in the Big Boss repo, and I see here it's a different way of unlocking your device, and it sort of looks like Android Jelly Beans lock screen. Now you probably saw this back in iOS 6 because it was available on iOS 6, but now it's available on iOS 7. Now let's go ahead and check out the settings real quick. Now if we go into settings, we have the kill switch, but anyways, down below we have app shortcuts. Now you'll be able to add up to five shortcuts, so this is going to be the applications you want to enable to be shown on your lock screen. Now you'll be able to choose whichever application you like, of course. And going down below that, we have the skip passcode option. So I have that enabled. What that does, it allows you to skip the passcode when you try to unlock an application from your lock screen. So that is very useful. So that way you don't have to have your passcode entered every single time. But anyways, going back, we also have the behavior settings. So you can disable the default unlock or hide the camera icon. Now below that, we have the appearance. So you can change and tweak some appearance uh, settings here. You can show the badges. You can change a color of the circle. I have mine to red. This is going to be the outside uh, ring where the apps sit at. Now let's go ahead and try this out and show you how it all works. So right here you'll be able to simply slide this little circle to the camera or one of the five applications you have set or you can simply unlock your device. So let's go ahead and unlock it to the Nike Plus Fuel Band application. And if you saw my recent video, I've been using the Nike Fuel Band for a while. Um, you can check out that video down below in the description. I'll leave a link there. But anyways, going back to the lock screen, we'll be able to unlock it to any other application. We got TweetBot here. Follow me on Twitter, JBTech17, or also JB24Fit. Uh, that is my personal account. But as you see here, you'll be able to simply unlock your device using Jelly Lock. And you can unlock also to an application quickly. Now I did keep turning off my device or locking it, uh, but you can simply hit the home button and then it will take you right back to that lock screen once you open up an application. So anyways, that is Jelly Lock 7. You can find it for free in the Big Boss repo. Next up we have Color Your Board. Now this is available for free if you want the free version, but they also have a pro version which is available for $1.99. That difference between the two is with the free version, you'll be able to select one out of these six colors down below here. But if you have the pro version, you'll be able to drag that little circle in the color wheel and select your own color, whichever you desire. So that is available for $1.99. But if you just prefer to choose one out of the six colors down below, you can just download the free one. So I'm going to go ahead and select red because that is one of my favorite colors. And once you do that, go ahead and close out the application. So for instance, I'm going to be using the notes application and I had that open. Go ahead and close it out for the changes to take effect. Once you close it out, go ahead and open it back up. And as you see here, I have a red keyboard, which looks pretty nice. So again, this is color your board. You can find it for free or you can go ahead and pick up the paid version for $1.99, which will allow you to customize or choose whatever color you desire in the color wheel. Now next up on the list is NC Weather. You can pick this up for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. Now NC Weather is gonna be a weather widget in your notification center as you see here. So I have my weather right here on my notification center and it is very cold right now. It's ridiculous here in Texas. Uh, but simply by tapping on the weather, you'll be able to see the next five hours forecast or if you tap it one more time You'll be able to see the next five days forecast So it's a quick and easy way of seeing what the weather is like without having to open up the weather application or anything like that But first what you must do to enable NC weather is enable it via your settings application So if you go to settings go to notification center be sure to enable NC weather AC here and then once you do that, you'll be able to see your weather from your notification center. But like I said, you can pick this up for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. And again, it's called NC Weather. Next up, we're going to talk about Spin. Now, Spin is a pretty cool tweak. It's available for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. And it's a new way of controlling your iPhone music. Uh, it looks very cool on your lock screen. It basically replaces your now playing screen on your lock screen into this cool new 
little spinning wheel type of thing. And it also gives you a blurred effect of the artwork and the background as well. So it kind of blends in well, it looks great. Now I did find it a little difficult to try to skip throughout the track by grabbing the little ball there and um, moving throughout the track. Um, I don't know, maybe I was doing it wrong, but if you do hold down the fast forward or the back track button, uh, you'll be able to skip or go back in the track. Now there are some settings in the settings app for spin. You see here we have the kill switch right up top and you will need to respring for that to take effect. But below that you'll be able to enable or disable the background artwork. You can add a lighter blur, you can dark the background, and also you can enable larger controls for non-iPads. And you can add a 24 hour clock, dark the cover, and slide to unlock text, you can disable that. And also the status bar clock, you can disable that. So you have a few settings to change on spin. And again, you will have to respring to enable that and disable that. Now I am using Spotify and it works with other music applications. Of course, the default music app and Spotify and other apps. So like I say, you can download this for 99 cents. It's pretty cool. I like it, but that's really what it does. And it's called spin. Next we have Weasel. Now Weasel is a pretty useful tweak and it's priced at $1.99. You can find it in the Big Boss repo. Now simply what this does, it allows you to quickly search through apps, music, contacts from anywhere on your device, even if you're in an application. So I have mine set with the activation of triple pressing the home button. So when I triple press the home button, I activate Weasel. So with Weasel, I can simply type in something right now. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Spotify. So I'm gonna open up an application and you see here, I can simply open it up right then and there. Now when I'm in Spotify, I can actually even still open up another application just by triple pressing the home button once again to activate Weasel. And then I'll type in Tweetbot and then I'll open up Tweetbot just like that. It's pretty cool. So another thing you can also do is of course play music. And once I activate Weasel here, I'm gonna type in Z and I'm gonna start playing it. And let me open up Control Center so you can see. So you see there, it is playing that song right then and there. Now let's go ahead and also do something pretty cool. Now you can even perform calculations by typing in an equation. So if I activate Weasel, I can type in an equation here and it solves it for me. So I see here, it gives you the answer right below. Now if you tap on the answer, it'll actually copy it to your clipboard and then you can paste it wherever and go about whatever you need to do. So I think that is pretty nice feature on Weasel that you can even perform calculations, even tougher ones. It also allows you to search things on Google, Amazon, eBay, or Wikipedia. But another thing is it also allows you to define different words. So you can type in define and then type in a word and it defines the word for you. And lastly, you can also type in system and perform system commands. So you can respring, reboot, power off, turn off Wi-Fi, and things like that straight from Weasel without having to go into your settings or anything like that or go through Control Center. Now to change the activation method, all you gotta do is go into your settings and go into activator and then switch it to whatever activation you want to enable Weasel with. Like I said, I have mine set to triple tap the home button or triple press the home button and then it'll activate Weasel from wherever. But I think Weasel is a definite must have tweak and it's priced from 199. I have been using it quite a bit. It's very useful. Next up is Mobius. Now Mobius is free. And what this simply does, it allows you to scroll infinitely throughout your springboard pages and folders. So I see here, I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then once I reach the last page on my springboard, it'll just go back to my first page. And also I can even go back from the first page to the very last page on my springboard. So it's a very simple tweak, that's all it does. But in order to install Mobius, you will need to add a new source via Cydia. So all you gotta do is open up Cydia, go to manage, go to sources, edit, then add, and then add this following repo right here. It's gonna be repo.tylercason.com. Go ahead and add that. And once you add that, you'll see Mobius and then you'll be able to install it. And then now you get infinite scrolls throughout your springboard pages and also folders. Next up, we have Eclipse. Now Eclipse is priced for 99 cents. And what it is, it's a system-wide night mode user interface. So me in the mornings, I hate waking up to a bright iOS 7, especially when I'm in settings or something like that. So with Eclipse, it actually darkens it for you. So you'll be able to darken up the user interface through Eclipse. 
Now, if you go into settings, you have quite a bit of settings that you can enable and disable. So first is going to be the kill switch. And then below that, you'll be able to darken wallpaper. So it will add a little dark tint to your wallpapers if you'd like to add that. And also you can tint your status bar, theme your keyboard. So it'll be a dark keyboard. And you can also select the tint color. So I want to select red. And you first will need to quit the background as for the change to take effect. But anyways, let's move down here and we can also whitelist applications um, if you like. But I'm going to go ahead and close out these applications here. So if I would open up Safari now, you see here we have a black UI up top, the bars up there, and then the bar at the bottom. And we have red icons right down there. So it affects a lot of different applications. Some apps may not look that great with this, but what I did find was uh, things like Safari and settings, of course, and also messages, uh, iMessage, it looks great. So you can change the different colors that you see here. My The bubbles are actually red. I have a dark keyboard here, and I don't know, I just, it looks great. So again, guys, you can find Eclipse in Cydia for 99 cents. Let me know what you think about this. I, I really like this tweak. Next, we have color badges. Now, color badges is going to be available for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. And what it does, it changes the badges to match the apps. As you see here, I have different badges and they are actually colorized to match the application. And we go to the second page, you see here, my folders actually have badges as well. And if it's in the folder, the way the badge works is it'll match the badge to the app with the highest number of notifications. So you see here, they're all colorized to the certain application. It looks pretty cool. Gives it a different style and different look. The next tweak is gonna be Aina. So with Aina, it's a very simple tweak. It is free and you can find it in the Big Boss repo. And what it does, it gives you a mirror from your lock screen. So if you ever wanna see if you have, I don't know, something on your face or something like that, go ahead and go to your lock screen and simply press and hold the camera icon on the bottom right. Once you hold it for a few seconds, it'll enable Aina and it is simply the front facing camera looking at you and you can see if you have something on your face or if you just want to look at yourself because you're conceited or something like that. But that is all it does. And there's a little icon, the little yellow arrow in the middle at the bottom, at the bottom. So if you tap on that, it'll go back to your lock screen. But again, that is Aina. You can find it for free and it, I find it sometimes useful when I'm out and stuff. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And lastly, we're going to take a look at Message Swiper 7. Now, this is available in the Big Boss repo for free. And what it allows you to do is quickly switch between message threads. So if you're a big texter because you have a lot of friends, uh, unlike me, you'll be able to use Message Swiper 7 to quickly change threads uh, by a simple swipe to the left or right. Now, there is some settings for Message Swiper 7 if you simply go into your settings. You have the kill switch, and then you also have the ability to hide the previews so when you are switching from thread to thread, it won't show a preview. And also swipes start from the edges or from the center. I'd, I would advise you to use the center because of the way iOS 7 works now. Uh, if you do swipe from the edge of the left part of the screen to the right, then it normally goes back. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for top 10 city of tweaks of February 2014. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, all those will be linked down below in the description. I always post different stuff so you can be updated. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. But I do plan on making these type of videos at least once every month. So do stay tuned for the March 2014 edition of Top 10 City of Tweaks. If you like any other type of videos, let me know in the comment section below. Or go ahead and tweet me or Facebook me or something. And let me know your thoughts of what future video you'd like to see. Appreciate all you guys for watching. And I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.